Welcome back to Postcards from a Wet Rock, and we are continuing a story from Stingray, um, Stingray Comic Anthology, which might still be available, but they will sell out very quickly. Um, I am just going to go straight in, because I did all the preamble last week. So, this week, uh, just to catch up, a giant jellyfish was stealing... Uh, aircraft carriers the jellyfish is two miles long um, and they, it takes them into this cave where Titan beams them with this hypnotic ray and they all do his bidding as does the jellyfish monster jellyfish um, which is guarding Troy phones Marina inside the stingray sub we got to get out of this, but if we move, that overgrown mutation will pounce again. It will pounce. But uh, what's wrong, Marina? I guess she's seen something out there. Don't know what she's seen, but they're looking at um, a screen. So, Troy Tempest, I have you at my mercy. Soon the jellyfish, whose growth has been accelerated by scientists will bring you to me okay i don't know if that's on a monitor in the stingray or it's actually on the wall of this room cave whatever because they say misarina seen something outside anyway not important they've got the message um phones realizes titan must have trained the fish to obey him I guess you're right phones Marina's nodding her head. Yes, he's worked that out. And he's got confirmation. Uh, you may be wondering about the aircraft carriers, Tempest. At this moment, their aircraft are about to attack Marineville. Wow. And that is actually what's happening. Tracking stations to control tower. Missing carriers have been sighted off coast. They are intact and appear to be safe. I don't know it's an attack yet. I want to know if there's any word from Stingray. But before the answer comes, these aircraft are battering Marineville. And it has to do its uh, sinking into the ground thing. They're still taking out a lot of Marineville. Because not only the base can go underground, the rest of the city. There's nothing we can do. Those flyers are our own men. Our boys are not, Atlanta. We must defend ourselves. Or we'll all die. It's them or us. Prepare to launch interceptor missiles. <gasps> what a cliffhanger. They're about to kill their own men. And uh, some nice art here. And, and I do like these pictures. I don't think they actually work well in this comic. When they have to, I think it just jars. But I do like the images. So you make your own mind up. Let me know what you think. But I think they're... Um, they're fine, even if they don't quite work. I mean, it must have been quite exciting for kids to see a TV show in the comic, maybe, rather than drawings of it. I don't know. Do you remember doing? Do you remember when you was a kid? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think I read these. I remember the Thunderbirds comics, but I, I read them in the nineties. When I was like 26 years old, not when I was a kid. Anyway, in the control tower, anxiety grows. Interceptor missile standing by. Prepare to fire. No, Father. This is quite an emotional bit of uh, dialogue here. No, Father. Those boys are our own men. We can't just kill them. Give them a few more minutes. Maybe they'll call off the attack. It's wishful thinking. It's not going to happen. But uh, Stingray's still trapped. Now my pet jellyfish will bring you to Titanica. And I will have the pleasure of destroying you all. It does appear he's won. And the jellyfish comes and grabs hold of them. But it's made its first mistake. It's picked Stingray up in such a way that the sting missile tubes are in line with the creature. Fire sting missiles! And they kill it. 
its tough airfield jelly sack penetrated by the lethal stick. I, I can't take a creature seriously when it's called a jellyfish. And now they're talking about its large jelly sack. I mean, an octopus, yeah, you know, but jellyfish, it's such a, like, a silly name. It's just jellyfish. It reminds you of kids' parties and goldfish. And... Anyway, this this obviously kills the jellyfish, and they're free. And Titan seethes in his palace at Titanica. A thousand marine curses on Tempest. For this, the air attack on Marineville will be intensified. He's trying to destroy them, so he's trying to destroy them more intensely now. But the hypnotized commander of the warships carries out Titan's relayed orders. And Stingray is still in Titan's cavern. Those rays, they're still on. If we destroy their source, we could break the trance those Navy guys are in. It's worth a shot. More sting missiles. It says here, a sting missile. It actually says here, a sting missile sings its song of destruction. That's poetic, isn't it? But the, the explosions are too powerful, and the cave they're in is collapsing. They're just hanging on for dear life. But uh, the three aircraft carriers move towards the Marineville coast. But what's going on? I can't remember setting this course, says the captain. And as strike aircraft swoop in over Marineville... This pilot, what am I doing? That's Marineville down there. Underground, Marineville holds its breath. Father, the aircraft are leaving. The attack's over. Flight leader to Marineville Tower. Uh, uh, sorry, Commander. I, I don't understand this. He's just phoned up to apologise. Return to your carrier at once. All carrier aircraft will be grounded pending a full investigation. That's just wise. But they're out of radio contract in Stingray. And they don't know they've succeeded. They're actually trying to dodge the collapsing of this cave. Troy will be crushed. Acceleration rate six, emergency. And they shoot out. It's all over. Done. And it races back to the surface. That is a great picture. Stingray on the surface. Like it. I'm a sucker for these little models. But... Um, the super sub locates the three aircraft carriers. Stingray to Commander Tracy. Are you recovered? Yes, thanks, Captain. But uh, what happened? I will tell you later. Don't worry. I'll square things with Marineville. So um, it's all fine. I just want to mention Stingray to Commander Tracy. Now, obviously, Tracy is a name synonymous with the Thunderbirds um, series, which follows this. And as Lady Penelope was in this comic already from the beginning, um, they were obviously working on the Thunderbirds universe. But maybe they hadn't worked out the names. This is about nine months before Thunderbirds came on air. And Lady Penelope, as I say, was seeded into the comic to prepare the world. Unless, unless that was always meant to be an individual thing and they just added them to Thunderbirds. I'll have to read up on that. But um, I don't know whether they used this name and liked it or they, they're they seeding something there. But it's, it's obviously Commander Tracy. It's nothing to do with Thunderbirds, Tracy. I'm speculating wildly, but I thought I'd better stop and mention that. So anyway, um, however that panned out, I don't know. But um, Troy Tempest has gone back to base to explain it to everybody, and they're accepting it, congratulating uh, Tempest on doing another swell job. But one person doesn't think so. Curse Tempest. One day I shall destroy him. As sure as I shall rule the terrain, I shall see him die. Curse him. So that's fun. He's still after. The next one is insane. But we'll get to that. 
the next one we do is going to be thunderbirds and we'll continue cycling i haven't yet got any captain scarlet or joe knight comics so there is a gap after thunderbirds where we just go straight to ufo and then it's space 1999 and terror hawks and then we're back with the xl5 one um which is a crossover so it could may not be next earlier xl5 but probably will um i can't remember where we are in that oh i think we're oh we're on the snowy one i think that is all xl5 that'll become clear but i'm not actually doing anderson next monday next monday will be something else i haven't decided what maybe asterix i don't know i've got quite a lot of asterix to get through but um next time we come back to the anderson universe it will be that's it i've explained it loads but I always think, oh, maybe I've got some new new people watching who want to know. But um, yeah, I just rotate titles. All right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Bye.